Homemade Red 40. Let's see what it takes to color your Twizzlers and Gatorade red. I have no idea if we can pull this off. We'll find out. Red 40 actually starts its life as petroleum byproduct, a charcoal-based compound. Obviously, we can't bring petroleum into our house and start there, so we're skipping a couple of steps and starting with activated charcoal. And to break it down, they use a solvent, something like toluene. It's used in paint thinners. It's also derived from petroleum, and it helps dissolve the carbon material. We are doing the exact thing here, but using acetone as our solvent. The next step in the factory is to filter the impurities. They do it under extreme heat, extreme pressure, and uh, we're going a bit low tech with a coffee filter. For the next steps at the factory, they start creating various chemical reactions using various acids, various bases, mixing them up, agitating the compound in a way that will start developing the signature red color. In our first reaction, our acid is white vinegar and our base is baking soda. After our first reaction, we got ourselves a clear solution. Now a few more steps to make it red. Now in the factory, we are continuing with chemical reactions. They are using ammonia, sulfuric acid, and sodium hydroxide to finalize the transformation of the colors and to move it close to the red pigment. Here we're going to use ammonia and hydrogen peroxide to get it as close as we can. Now they have to try to remove all of these chemicals and solvents. So to do this, they heat it up under extreme heat conditions. We're using a double boiler at home on low heat. We have ventilation, we have an air filter. This is red 40 and here is our homemade one.